Well, at least enough, Mike and Ashley, to kind of spoil the start of your weekend. That's for sure. So at least we're going to keep the mild temperatures around. They're not going anywhere, but the rain, it's knocking on our doorstep. It's not here yet, but it will be certainly by this time tomorrow night. Let's talk about this December thaw we've been enjoying. We're headed for the low 50s tomorrow, and all in all, you do notice temperatures do cool off heading into next week, but still not too bad for mid to late December, and certainly not too cold where you will have too much in a way of problems getting out there and getting some of those last minute Christmas and holiday items. All right, radar tonight on a clean sweep across the area. It should be quiet through the night. So over the next few hours, it will be a slow fall through the 40s. We've been holding pretty steady pretty much all evening. Now across the area, temperatures range from a chilly 35 in Maysville to most of us that are in the low 40s at the moment. College Hill at 46, 42 in Kenwood, Sharonville's at 45, 43 in Hyde Park. You're still as warm as 46 seven over on the west side out there around Delhi. So 45 degrees officially at the airport. We've got a nice southeasterly breeze at this moment. So that first arc of rain kind of missed us earlier today. Look what's developing out to our west. This is all going to be a slow moving storm center that is tonight parked kind of in the piney woods of East Texas here. It's going to basically lift its way up across the uh, mid south through the Tennessee River Valley. And as that happens, it's basically going to continue to throw one wave of rain after another in our direction until it gets here. And it looks like the first most substantial wave will most likely arrive tomorrow evening. So tomorrow morning's commute, no problems out there. There may be a sprinkle somewhere over here in southeast Indiana, but for the most part, it's another dry commute to school and work. As we work our way through the morning towards noon, for the most part, it's still dry. However, as that storm system continues to kind of get closer and closer to us, eventually we're going to start to see those waves of rain overspread the area. Could be wet for that evening ride home. Maybe not raining everywhere, but I do think rain chances increase through the evening commute. Eventually, it builds into a solid rain. If you've got plans to be out on the town for tomorrow night, this is 10, 1030. Pretty good soaking rain going across the area at this point. The rain continues through the night, and as we work our way into Saturday, while again, I've been saying it may not be raining every single moment of the day on Saturday, with waves of rain essentially pinwheeling their way through the area, you can almost see that counterclockwise spin. It stays pretty wet. I would consider Saturday a washout in the, until the rain really begins to taper off late Saturday night overall. So we've been talking about the wettest years here in Cincinnati. Currently we are in ninth place. Looks like we're probably going to jump somewhere in the top five by the time the weekend is over. Anything over 53 inches puts us in the top five here. And with the forecasted rainfall amounts easily of an inch or two, we certainly could end up there maybe even higher. So the good news, all of this is out of here in time for football on Sunday. It's probably going to start kind of damp and gloomy, and then we'll look for improvements as the day progresses. So milder tonight, wouldn't that be nice? Most of us won't drop below 40. And then for tomorrow, cloudy skies with rain arriving in the afternoon. Expect an impact day to the evening commute as wet weather begins to overspread the area. So there's a look at your day planner. Temperatures sneak their way into the 50s late in the day. Here's your seven day forecast. Pretty much a soggy one on Saturday. Sunday, we begin to gradually see some sun returning. And all in all, this is a nice stretch of weather. This is kind of what you want with that final week building up to the Christmas holiday there. A couple of dry days so you can get out and run those errands. Yeah, we like the sunshine. Yeah. Thank you there, Kevin.